The point is, I started eating out, and now, so I went down to 583, and right now it's 589. For some people, you're like, oh, that's nothing, girl, like, get back into it. And for other people, it's, like, really bad. Yeah, it's that is very bad. You're gaining weight at over 500 pounds. I, do people not realize how many calories you need to eat to even maintain over 500 pounds, let alone gain over 500 pounds? And going through this person's TikTok page, I came to the realization that at one point about a year ago, and maybe two years ago, there was a serious attempt at a weight loss journey, but it seems like they gave up on it because I guess it wasn't beneficial for them. And a lot of people don't see the long-term success as a valid I I excuse to lose the weight because a lot of people want to live in the moment. And it's a, it's a symptom of our modern society. A lot of people don't want to um, have that long-term because the short-term is always going to be better, right? I can eat fast food right now. Um, yes, I am most definitely feeling the pains of my obesity, but relatively speaking, it's not that bad because I'm guessing this person, I believe, is like 28 years old. So they're not really like feeling the, the tremendous negative effects of their weight because they're so young that they have the ability to bounce back from that which is a very good thing but usually you want to extend that bounce back for as long as you possibly can um but this is most definitely expediting the journey and they've even gotten so bad this exo person has gotten so bad that they are currently right now as the time of the, make, the time of making this video they are chilling at some guy's house over there in i think it's uh las vegas this is like really really rich guy that has an entire streamer house for obese women, like a BBW paradise. And I'm not even joking either. Like this guy literally has like five, six, seven, eight, nine fat women at his house at any given point in time. They're all obese. He all he always finds ways to monetize them. He's like out there spending thousands of dollars, presumably every single day on fast food for these women to eat. So it just kind of goes to show you that um, where there's a will, there's a way. And even though this person tried to lose weight at one point in time, I believe they're well over 600 pounds right now. This video is from like eight, nine months ago. So I just wanted to show, <laughs> I just wanted to show off that um, they tried to lose weight, but I guess they just decided that this is what they are, which is really, really sad because this is most definitely going to lead to a lifetime of a lot of health conditions and a terrible, disgusting uh, overconsumption of food. But anyway. Into it. And for other people, it's like really bad. For anybody, because it's bad. Because when you're this size, like, basically, like, it took me a while to get under 600. So, yay, right? But it's 589. Yeah, which is really, like, nothing at all, bro. 589 to 600 pounds. Like, 10 pounds difference is really not that much at all. You might as well just call yourself 600 pounds. I say the same thing anytime somebody gets over 600 pounds. Like, dude. Why are you even why are you even counting the numbers at that point, dude? You're at such a high calorie. You're at a, such a high number on that scale that the, the that number like six it should just be 600 pounds. Once you reach 650, then you do 650. You're just going up by 50 markers at that point because like you've already reached such a high, such a high level. The amount of calories this woman has to be consuming on a day is got to be literal insane, bro. Uh, you don't realize this. Um, that's a lot of calories. I wouldn't even be surprised if she was eating five or six thousand calories every single day to maintain that. I mean, she blit. She really blinked. She even got the same scale that Amber Lynn Reed has. Because I, I know she does. Because when I was watching her weigh herself before, I heard the scale go, it's ready. And then she would step on it. That's crazy as hell. She's got one of those big ass like car scales. The ones that you use to like weigh car parts. That's what she's using for herself. But she's not a car part. She's a human being. How the hell do you think that makes me feel right now? Like, I well, you got to see the thing is like. Yes, it probably is really demoralizing, and that's probably one of the reasons why a lot of people just kind of gain a lot more weight because it's like an endless endless series of an Ouroboros of like feeling bad for yourself and then eating food to make yourself feel better because most of these people find a lot of enjoyment in food. But uh, dude, why the fuck are you eating so much that you're gaining weight at five, what, 583? You went up from 583 to five, 590 basically? Jesus Christ. But it's 589. How the hell do you think that makes me feel right now? Like, I want to eat the entire universe. Yeah, well... <laughs> yeah! I mean, I could see it, dude. I mean, there's a reason why she got to 500 pounds to begin with. It's my fault, I know. I know. But it's... 
I wonder if she actually knows what that means, though, when she says it's my fault. A lot of people find a lot of enjoyment in telling you that it's their fault, but they don't actually recognize it or they don't take it serious, if that makes any sense. They're just kind of coasting. They're just kind of like <laughs> – it's like a revolving door to them. Like, yes, it's my fault, but it doesn't matter because they're just going to repeat the same cycles over and over again. And to be honest, I don't really care if somebody says it's my fault or somebody says I'm sorry. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, those words are literally meaningless at that point because you're doing the same shit over and over again. I've been really struggling this this past week. I don't know what to say. What's up? I just really wish it was just more serious, man. Too many times I see people in these... Dude, what are you wearing here, bro? I thought at first this was a regular shirt, but then I saw the gut. And the, what do you... Why do so many fat people have to wear these particular types of clothes that, like, outline their body structure so drastically, man? Nobody, ain't nobody want to see that. Or what maybe happened was this was a regular shirt, but she put it on, and I guess it stretched out tremendously. But anyway. Oh, fat bitch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I literally, I literally just died of laughter. Um, yeah, you're watching this because your algorithm is trying to fuck with you. But don't don't fall into the trap, okay? I'm just making some breakfast for my friend Sky. You already know how it is, like. Yeah, having to leave the doorway from a sideways a sideways position is actually kind of crazy, and it looked like she was struggling from that way too, bro. This is a very narrow door to top it off. I don't know if this person actually lives in their own house because I only if I ever see them like in, in this the time of making this video, it's either in their best friend's house here or at that like bbw feeder guy's house so I, it's either one or the other but that guy's like in a mansion right now and i think the house is like specifically designed for bbw women so like the chairs are double reinforced and like there's pools everywhere and fat women are slouching everywhere dude which is a crazy ass thing that guy's in heaven obviously because he i guess he's i don't know if he's having sex with all the bbws but i presume he's having sex with a few of them if that's what he really loves, man, he is literally in heaven out there, bro. But, uh, yeah, it is devious work to be in the pantry and have this woman slide out from the side. And even when she slid out from the side, like she's doing the cha-cha real smooth, she was still bouncing gut across the door frame. Okay, I'm just making some breakfast for my friend Sky. You already know how it is. Like, she be feeding me, she be cooking. If you have a, a friend in your life that loves you, uh, somebody that cares for you your friend should probably tell you like yo uh listen exo or whatever your name is exo dreamer you're big you're really big it's actually kind of crazy that uh you have to place your stomach on the counter because it weighs so goddamn much like it's becoming an issue okay like there's literally snail sludge every time you lift up your stomach off the table i have to wipe it down with like dawn double double grease remover and to be honest dude this is a type of soap that they use to clean off ducks coated in oil and sometimes it doesn't even work to properly cleanse off the front of this table so we need to do something about this this is a really big issue you're consistently coated in crumbs you've been wearing the same clothes for 10 years i understand it's hard to find clothes at your size why don't you just lose weight so you can find more clothes because you're big as hell in the good shit but i guess her friend's not doing that and so i was like let me do a little justice let me do it back for her and her son cook her some breakfast i i think that you should probably just not do that like just it's okay to not eat every once in a while and i really think that's okay uh maybe maybe just skip this one maybe just skip this one instead of going this hard but you know obviously not gonna happen so i just made some pancakes honestly god like, damn i don't like cooking anymore damn, bro what was even the point of what was even the point of portioning it out if you were just gonna dump it back out into the bowl to begin with dude Yo, these are the type of bowls that Becky Jones just be eating out generally. I just, I came to the realization, like, it is not for me. I, I was in culinary class growing up. Um, look at where it left me. Yes. I don't want to hear no kiki shit. I don't want to hear, you're like that girl that ate the whole pack of sausages. I'm cooking for three. And you know what, actually? Do you count as three people? <sighs> Why don't we, I don't like it when people do this. I don't like it. I'm going to call you out for this. If you have a stick of butter, which is fine, why are we doing this with the butter? Why don't we just cut a slice, put the butter in there, let it coat the pan, and move on? Why do we need to take the butter and do this? Isn't that so fucking irrelevant, dude? Level your shit up, bro. Two. Two. I'm cooking for two motherfucking bitches. Anyways, how are you guys doing? It's Monday. Better than you. Start of the week. A lot of people are wondering, like, why I post if I really don't make money on these videos. But, look, I enjoy you guys. I love chatting with you guys. It's a hobby. It's something that I love. I love making videos. You love eating, too? Myself, Jesus showing Christ, how I live. man. And, you know, like, it's a fucking journey. It's a ride. Damn. 
What do you guys think about chocolate chip pancakes? I thought this one was cute when I turned it around. But I am going to show you one Damn. that I like make that came, that came out bad. Dude, I don't even know what's going on here, bro. Is this like a bra of some kind? What is this thing? Why does your friend... Do you clean up after yourself? Do you wash the dishes? Do you just like let it coast? Like how does this happen? What do you do after all this is done, man? And by the way, even if this was for two people, I know your body slamming some of it, right? At the bare minimum, some of this is sliding in the back of your throat. Just so you can see, like, you know, nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get. And I don't even like bacon. But here I am cooking it the fuck up. True. Because that's what my friend likes. No, oh, is that what your friend likes, dude? What about you? I mean, she might be on the Amberlynn Reed shit, even though she said she doesn't like some things. It doesn't matter. Because you know how you know how Amberlynn Reed will just eat whatever the fuck she sees. She'll say she doesn't like it, but... She'll always put it in her mouth. And it might be the same thing here. I mean, I don't, I don't think it really matters. 90% of this girl's diet is literally from 7-Eleven. This is my first time actually ever seeing her put something together. With the exception of that one time she pre-fried like two packs of ramen with hot dogs. It's my first time actually seeing her cook. Seems like she could do a good enough job. I guess it's not like that big of a deal to cook. A lot of people sleep on the processes of cooking. It's not that, it's not that bad. And she taught me how to cook bacon. There you go. There you go. I wasn't playing, was I? Um, I love this toaster oven. I don't know where it's from, but I love it. I also made these that sausages, but they cooking, come out dude. too salty. I just don't fuck with salt like that. I'm not playing, y'all. Ask my friend. Um, One. What else? Dude, Damn, this. putting the putting the eggs back in the carton, dude. I don't know about that, dude. But get a little paper towel and put it on the side there and put the eggs in that. This is long. I don't know what the fuck else to talk about. But, oh, okay. She's yeah, going to crack so them all? Damn. You guys. I know you guys want to see me working out. Me too. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eggs? Seven eggs. Two. I would love to work out. I just, I don't know why my mind won't connect the dots. And like... I just make so many excuses, but I do like to move around. Like, I know I it may look like I don't, but I... Do. I don't really necessarily care about her moving around. I more care about, like, the dietary decisions. Because her just moving around is really not going to solve any problems, especially if she's going to be body slamming, like, six, seven, eight thousand calories in a day, which just seems like it's not far-fetched for her. She easily can body slam that. And I know she is because the woman is literally chilling at over 600 pounds consistently. So I know that she has no, she has no reason to move, to be honest. Um, at her size, dude, any movement's going to be like destroying her joints. It might just be better if I had to chill at the crib and just eat less. I mean, if you want to move, maybe just walk slightly more. She already does walk. I've peeped. She has a lot of videos where she's going to the club or <laughs> she does go to the club. She's going to the club or she's out eating at random like Mexican places or whatever with her and her batty friend. And uh, I know she does move. I just wish that it would be a little bit more consistent and more uh, maybe more fulfilling than just walking to the club and then back to the car. And uh, it would be more it would be way better if, if it was just the food intake. That's the biggest issue here do and i think my knee bothering me is like another factor too and yeah. obviously i'm lazy well yeah the knee damn how many pancakes did you fucking make boy god damn bro there's gotta be at least 10 on the side here on the left it's gotta be at least what five six over here on the right i don't doubt that she has knee problems dude this girl's walking around at 600 pounds i i would hope that you have knee problems at that size like it would be it would be ridiculous if you didn't have a joint problems at that size but I just have an issue, bro. Why are you still eating like this? If you know that you have these issues, man. Like, she knows that they, these are problems. She weighs herself. She says it's my fault. She knows that she's eating way too fucking much. She's literally out here scrubbing the the the, 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 the remnants, the residue off of herself after she's done eating. As if she needs any excuse to do that, bro. You're already 600 pounds. The food is dead ass in front of you. And yet you are still out here picking, cleaning off. The shirt, which is already completely wrecked, by the way. All her shirts all have holes in them. Or they're, they're like, stained up from the food residue that she ate the day before or, like, the week before. I don't know how often somebody of that size can even take a shower. Most people I know that are, like, around 600 pounds literally can't take showers. So, because they can't fit into the tub. So, I don't know... Like, how can she be going through all these problems, living your life on perpetual hard mode consistently, and then do nothing about it, and then still eat like this on a daily basis, man? Like, you, you, you lost. You lost, and you know where you lost from. You purposely walked into the forest, man. You know it's not the, you know it's not the right path, but you're still doing it. That's how I make my eggs, guys. But this is how it came out. What do you guys think? Would you eat, see, chocolate chip, 
regular hash browns. I wouldn't be surprised if this is all for her. Sausages and then the bacon and the pancakes. Oh, damn, eggs. bro. Bye, guys. Love you. Where's your friend at? Show us your friend eating that food real quick. I don't have to see your friend exactly. I just got to see the mouth move to the food. Bye. <sighs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, bro. How'd you let it get like this, man? How'd you let it get to this size, bro? It's ready. Yeah, as you can see, she got that. It's ready. Same shit, dude. Big struggle, by the way. That simple step for me or you to, like, lift up your leg in any meaningful way, like, that movement is going to be very, very difficult for somebody like her because she's... 600 pounds so that leg alone probably weighs like 150 no doubt easily might be even more than that i wouldn't even be surprised so the simple act of lifting up a leg at this size is going to be daunting bro that's why if you watch like any of these fat people i've literally seen a fat person be incapacitated because one day they tried to like go up on the curb right so you know when you're on the street and there's a sidewalk and there's like a you know what i'm talking about this fat person tried to lift their leg up to get over it and they miscalculated the amount of inches on that step and they fell over and now they're like perpetually bed bound. Uh, anything at this size will literally be bed bounding you, bro, because your body is in a perpetual state of being taxed. So anything in general, the healing process will just be deteriorated tremendously because um, your body's on consistent life support. Uh, if you fall down, it's GG. I don't know who, who on God's green earth can even lift you up. So it's... It's tough, man. It's just a bad life, man. I don't know why so many people think that this is like... She's she's contributing to it. She wants to do this. And now she's over at that BBW house, so... Bad bitches galore. That respiratory, too. The amount of, like... <sighs> oh, my God. No, no. Oh my god, oh my god. That physique is crazy. Hi, my little dreamers. 588 pounds, man. Um, God damn, bro. How you chilling at around 600 so consistently? Good lord. Why are you getting fast food, man? I asked him for Chimurio. It was bad. They're talking. Uh, I should have done it in my juice food. Full, full Sprite. Extra I mean, Yo, bro. Why are we ordering fast food when you know you got an issue? You know you got a real problem with your weight, dude. Setting yourself up for failure, dude. That's just... It, it, I can't believe that this person knows that they have all these issues and they're still, like, c continue to do it to themselves, man. Where's, my noodle at? Where's your friend at? By the way, I don't know if she ordered other food for everybody else in the house because everybody knows this, right? If you live with somebody else or your roommates or your your family or whatever you're in that house with those other people do you not buy food for everybody else in the house who the fuck gets fast food just for themselves that's some really big back shit am i wrong dude that like, can you imagine getting the uber eats delivery and it's the mcdonald's dude and you bring it upstairs and all your family members are looking at you dude they're judging you because that's bad human being activity if you're ordering food you got to order food for everybody so i hope you order food but that's the real big problem with it is like this one order, I wouldn't be surprised, was like 40, 50 bucks. I mean, fast food has gotten ridiculous. Takeout has gotten ridiculous in the last few years um, because it's – why shouldn't it, dude? Like since COVID, people have been spending their entire paychecks on it. So I wouldn't be surprised that this was like 40, 50 bucks. And if you order in for two, three, four, five people, I wouldn't even be surprised that bill went up to two, one, 120, 130. I mean, we reached a point in our lives where going to McDonald's is like high-class eating. You know, if, if you go in there with your boyfriend – and he buys you a McChicken or three, and he doesn't use the app, bro, that guy's big balling. That guy's probably making three fig. That, guy, that guy's probably making six figures easily to be able to afford McDonald's, bro? No app? Never in my life, bro. You catch me at McDonald's, I'm always using the app. I'm always hustling the woman behind the counter, too. I'm always seeing if she, she can put an extra slice of cheese on whatever I'm getting. That goes for the drinks, too. Throw, 
throw anything in it, bro. You guys are literally bamboozling me. And I'm paying top dollar. I'm paying a whole dollar for the coffee, which is crazy that some places can charge as much money as they do for coffee. It's just marinated bean water. That's all it is, bro. And uh, the coffee that you're even getting at McDonald's is not even made in-house. That shit is, like, shipped from across the country somewhere in, like, Venezuela. And it comes all the way over here. And then you're just drinking the fermented bean water from that. So, like, I don't know. Even a dollar is, like, a little bit too much, honestly, in a lot of these places, man. So, I don't know, man. It's just, like, sometimes it hurts me, dude. But I do see a lot of people eating at McDonald's. Uh, the point I'm making is fast food is really expensive. And if she eats it, if she gets more than just one plate or one serving, I guess. This is a lot of servings, but uh, it's going to be a lot more money. One, two, three, four, five. I'm guessing six egg rolls on that shit. Six egg rolls just for your own mouth? What about everybody else, bro? Two egg rolls per person. Can we just say that? Two egg rolls per person. That's good. That's fantastic, matter of fact. Two is really good. It's like pizza. Everybody get two slices. If that one person, maybe if there's a few slices extra, you can maybe get three, depending on how big of a person you are. But... Two should be minimum. You're out here really eating the full box of pizza in terms of egg rolls, bro. Get your shit together, bro. Oh, you ordered it, didn't you? Like, are you? Why are you surprised that the order came through accurate? They're just egg rolls. Yo, can we serve the food out first, bro? Calm down, dude. You big back ass can wait. You good? Let's see. Damn. It, I chose vegetable. <laughs> okay. Good shit. You're doing yourself a good service right here after you just dip that shit in looks, what looks to be motor oil. You're good. No, no. You're totally right. I'm happy. Vegetables, you said? I'm sure that's definitely going to help. Because I didn't really want pork. True. Oh, shit. No flavor. At least she eats with her mouth closed. I'll give her that. Oh, it is some rice. Okay. What the fuck? Let's make our fun. That's generous. What the heck? This weighs like five pounds. It should weigh nothing. You should just not eat this, bro. You couldn't go like a few hours without eating, dude. You're good, man. You don't need to... The amount of times you eat in a day should just just mitigate it just by like one or two times, bro. I don't know how many times you're eating a day. I'm, I'm probably guessing five, six, seven, eight, nine times in a day. Can we take out two of those times every day? Let's make the fuss. This looks dark for me. Is that your urine? <laughs> this is my first time ordering from this place. And they're very generous. They should not be. I, I mean, let's hope the flavor is there, but honestly... I'm shook. It's, okay. it's too I'm much, shook. dude. Okay, let's make our fat. Okay, let's start putting like, some onions at the bottom. Do I have to and make my own food? If I order something, why do I have to cook it myself or put it together myself? If I'm ordering it, I want it to already be pre-made. What? Am I wrong? Okay. They yeah, they really fucked you up, bro. They are, are they? They're bean, bean sprouts, no? Let's see. Some chicken. What are we even doing with this shit? It's like a lunchable for an adult. And then the noodles. Are we just oh, avoiding yeah. all the green stuff completely? Oh wow. Chili oil. A little bit of soy sauce. Damn. People are gonna be like, is this girl crazy? What is she doing over here? I don't know. <laughs> True. Don't know. And now oh gotta be perfect y'all yeah, she knows so she definitely knows how to put stuff together i'll give her that but i don't know how frequently she's doing this shit <laughs> the, the japanese not. man's urine when he gave you that shit bro fucking iced tea brown dude peeing out straight up barbecue sauce but it's good steamy yummy fun. okay you have to Two. do it to we're talking about makeup right now, but Damn. I think this is my third video and my last one because I'm over it. Yeah, Let's I try the what out. You know what? It's just hard, man. Oh, like yeah, somebody at this size should not be eating right, as frequently as they it. are. They, I guess it's just enablers in their life completely. I mean, it definitely now since they're at that BBW house, which is crazy to even say, bro. Usually 
if you want like a house you're like the dan balzerian of bbws right you remember when dan balzerian was getting like really really big and he was inviting a whole bunch of like instagram models over his house and the the only term of agreement was you had to have sex with him which i guess wasn't a big deal since he had a big beard that kind of came into his nose you ever see dan balzerian's beard and his his mustache like you see how i have a gap from my nose to my mustache his doesn't have a gap like he just has like a his beard goes into his nose his mustache goes into his nose and uh, i guess that's hot i didn't know that was hot but apparently it is hot but i see that and then i guess that guy was like really into having a bbw harem of women if that's what you're into dude i'm not gonna hate but it is a little bit weird actually than i've seen before um but you have a fork and your hands are all up in the food what is the purpose of even having the fork at this point? You might as well just you keep using your fingers, right? Why did why are you even why are your hands so deep within the food? It's kind of hard to break up. This is like a sunset color. Yeah, like usually it would be like um black bean. I can't Damn. So this is my thing. Let's try it. This color. I don't mm. it is so okay. cool. It has potential. It's just very thick. That's, yeah, I mean, come on, I mean, what do you want? You know what I'm saying, dude? I mean, I just got that about me, dude. I'm just that kind of guy. It's just not what I thought it would be, but it's still good. That's good. So, wadache. And I, I usually don't like my wadaches with lettuce, though. That is the truth. God I mean, I damn. Like sick. I think I maybe like the problem... Just random pieces of meat, dude. Why even bother using the fork at this point? Yeah, Cheers. Forget about it. And, and this don't need the fork. Damn. Damn. New fear unlocked. What is that? <laughs> I am not laughing. I'm concerned. Damn, that really is a big back. Damn, that is some big back shit. You know how they always say that? They be saying like you're big backed and stuff like that. And they mean like you got a lot of back fat. This is uh, Apex back fat right here, bro. This is some back fat that I've never seen before. You got that full hunchback of Notre Dame on your shit. You really got that beluga whale action going on. What is that? Is that like my back? I'm actually trying to figure it out. When you're this size, you don't really have like normal body proportions anymore. Which is one of the reasons why I always think, like, why are you guys even looking for clothes? Like, you you there's no, you don't even look like a human being anymore. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that she doesn't know what that is. I don't know what the fuck that shit is either, bro. Can you imagine, like, a, a blind person? And they go, oh, congratulations on transcending the last step. Now, your next course of action is to find out what body part is this. And all consensual, of course. Go ahead and feel around this human being. And you can imagine, like, putting your hands on a person and going, oh, damn, what is, hold up, oh, oh. Oh, oh, what is this? What is, oh my God. What is this stuff? What is, is this a nose? Oh, no, is this an ankle? Why does it feel like that? It's like tapioca. Oh my God. I don't know what this is. You're not going to be able to win that game show. I'm trying to figure it out. <gasps> God damn. Jew. Good Lord, that shit is big. Is my back. Damn. Now I know why they call it big backs. I just want to be able to look at this. I just want to be able to come back to this video one day. It's actually happening. What do you mean it's actually happening, dude? You're well over 600 pounds at this point. Of course it's happening. This is, you would have a big back at like 300 pounds, bro. You'd more than double that. Of course. You're going to have a big back. Why would you not have it? You got a big everything. You don't even have a neck anymore, bro. I don't even know when your body starts and stops. Why are you surprised that you have a big back? The primary diagnosis of being a big giant goliath of a human being. Of course. I'm just, I'm trying to feel, but my arm doesn't even go that far back. That, bro, come on, man. Because, like, that's, I know I'm doing it right now, and I feel like, not being able to touch your own back because your hand literally physically cannot do it because you have so much extra stuff in the way. I don't even know what it would be in the way. I guess the skin. Maybe like the you don't have the, the length anymore. I, I don't know exactly how it happens, dude. But saying those words out loud, 
Oh, your entire ancestry brought you here to this timeline. And here you are, and you can't stop munching down on disgusting 7-Eleven bur- Just the worst concoctions of, of food ever created by human beings. And here you are. Your ancestors are looking down at you. We're going like this. That's what they're doing. Oh, it is. What it else is would it be? Hump. What else would it be, dude? Of course. In the lumpy dump, lumpy dumpy fell off the wall. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way I'm standing. Let me show you how I'm standing. You're in the freezer. God damn. Oh! 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 Oh, oh calm down. What are you doing? Is this the break room? Yo, you gotta watch out, bro. Somebody's about to come in here. Yo, what is that? Why would you do this? Is that your drink right there? What is that, salt? What are you doing? Why would this ever be something you do ever? This is how it was. Yo. You can't tell me this isn't for the feeders, bro. You can't tell me that dudes ain't beating off right now, bro. I mean, not me, naturally. I got morals, uh, but not, not many morals. I'll put my foot in a vagina, but I would never beat off to something like this. This is crazy. This is absolutely deplorable activity right here. If you're beating off to this right now, it's not it's not looking good for you, bro. You got uh, therapy? Maybe therapy? I don't know. Talk to your mom. Talk to somebody, dude. Oh, oh. Alright guys, that's it dude. I'm sick of watching this person, bro, because it seems like they're just not trying to actually better themselves anymore and they've just put themselves in a position now to where they're just like being enabled through and through. But Regardless, I appreciate everybody that watched the video today. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things that help me grow on the algorithm. So I'd appreciate any of that stuff. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here now, leave it down below by typing in BBW because I guess that's a BBW right there. A big, beautiful woman. Yeah, the biggest. The SSBB. SSBBW, super size, big, beautiful woman. There you go right there. Because that's like beyond big. Uh, 600 pounds, I don't even know what you would even classify that as. Like most women are supposed to weigh around like 160, right? Like 150, 140 to 160. So that would mean she was about four, four regular women. So that's a real, that's a real woman right there. That's like fusion dancing of women. Like if two, you know what I'm talking about? Two big bellied women did the fusion dance. That's the type of person that would come out of it. Um, but they would fuck up. So I guess their finger would go slightly down and then they would just implode. I don't know. Regardless. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But BBW, um, you're an amazing person. You smell really great today. I love you. I care for you. I think that your eyebrows are marinated in the sweet beauty of life. Thank you so much for lubricating your throat today with water. And I really, really like that. Um, my socials will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.